Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Euro Trucker 2, and like always, leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe. This trip here, we are doing a 335 mile trip. We're going to Dijon, something like that. And we are transporting sugar, 23 tons of sugar. So, let's get on the road and uh, see See what's going on here. Let's see, where are we starting out at? I like using this above the truck view. I'll probably flip around the different views in this video. And as always, you want to zoom in your GPS. You just got a normal semi truck there, nothing cool. And we'll get out of here and we'll be on the road again. Five hour, 26 mile trip. Real time estimate should be about I don't know 30 minutes I mean barring any problems like me wrecking or anything <laughs> so I'm on my way trying to save up some money so I can buy my own truck start my own business out of my own garage then from there I plan on just you know buying some more trucks hiring some people so they got to they get to do all the dirty work and I just got to run the business freaking red lights I don't know if any of you guys are wrestling fans, but I'm a big WWE fan myself. And, oh man, I am just, I don't know about you, but I'm getting so tired of all the, just the crap they've been doing. It seems like every episode has just been a letdown after a letdown. I mean, I can understand giving the title to John Cena, but, oh man, he, he's so bad on the mic because... He's playing that corny, I'm trying to be funny all the time, Cena. And that just does not freaking work for me. I mean, it just doesn't do it for me. It's, it's Nothing he says is funny. The crowd doesn't laugh. Nobody laughs. I can't even see the little eight-year-olds that like him laughing to it. But I don't know. That's just my little rant on that. I was just thinking about that. I don't know why. Oh, so we're on the road again. Da 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 road again. 70 miles an hour. Let's get up to oh 90 miles an hour now. Man, I can get some speed built now. Hopefully I don't have to stop at any tolls. Because they are highly annoying. I'll slow down my trip considerably. Come on, baby. I know you're going up the hill, but let's get this shit rolling. 69. 69, yeah, my favorite speed. 70. Typically, I get up to about 80, and I'll hit, I'll set it on cruise control. So I think 80 is like a nice, safe speed. You don't really have to worry too much about wrecking or anything. Seems like I got a pretty straight shot. I don't have to get off of a lot of exits and stuff. Dijon Reams. Wherever that is, I have no clue where that is. France? I don't know. <laughs> it's all one big island over there to me. So, I'm from Ohio. Hopefully their, uh, their next trucking game is American Trucker. That would be awesome. I mean, I do like... I mean, the countryside and stuff is good in here. The, the big thing I really want to get in American Trucker is... I really, really, really look forward to driving around the American trucks because, I mean, you see how the European trucks are, you know, they're kind of small. Like, the American trucks are pretty awesome because they're nice and huge and big, which I'm not exactly sure why our trucks are much bigger than European trucks. Maybe there's some sort of size limit in Europe, I'm guessing. I don't know. And, of course, we have a toll. See if I can stop that crashing into the gate, because that will damage you the shit out of your truck. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. And I still hit it. I'll raise that shit. Hey, I just noticed they had the Visa the MasterCard emblems on that toll booth. I've never no noticed that before. Alright, we got an at 446. 4 hours 46 minutes. We did about an hour's worth of driving already. And we're on the road again. Da -da 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 
See those round bales of hay over there? You know why farmers are trying to get those banned, the round bales of hay, and they want the square bales of hay instead of the round bales of hay? Because they're all saying that if they, when they use the round bales of hay, their uh, animals aren't getting four square meals a day. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love telling that joke. That's like the one joke I tell every time I'm in a car with somebody and I ever see a round bale of hay. And when you're in a game, fuck it, tell it again. Down the road again. I need to figure out how to get my face in like the corner of the uh, of like the screen like other people do. I always think that's pretty cool. I guess I have to get a webcam to do that. Yeah. So I use X I have I, I mainly use fraps to to record my footage. I do have X split. I mean, I can, I do figure I did figure out how you can. Oh, that card just went off the mirror. Because in XSplit, I figured out how you can I can put my face in the corner. But the thing about XSplit is I the quality just isn't near as good as Fraps. I mean, Fraps. I mean, it, it comes out pretty damn good. I mean, close to what you see, 1080p maxed out graphics quality. But when you use XSplit, it's all deteriorated and like the screen seems to flicker every now and then. I don't know what's up with it. Maybe I need to get a different type of screen capturing. Alright, 253 kilometers. I'm learning my metric system by playing this game. Did you know we over here in Murica, we use the Imperial system. Which I think I like better because... Hey, look at that. Road construction. I don't think I've ever noticed that before either. I wonder if it actually goes away. Like if I drive this route... You know, another time. I wonder if they're still there. If they're just always there. I don't know. One thing, the Euro Truck Simulator guys, they should hook up with the guys that make Farming Simulator. So it's like all big one world. So you can actually like drive to your farm. That'd be pretty cool. Cause I am big on the some Farming Simulator. Which I think I just beat the game. If you can beat that game, I have like so much money. It's like ridiculous how much money I have. Alright, 3 hours 43 minutes left. And we're just on the road again. Man, there's like construction all over the damn place down this route. Feels like we're in America. There's construction everywhere. They're always upgrading roads. Always, and it never ends. Safety first. But getting back on wrestling, I know the pay-per-view Extreme Rules is coming up here soon, and I mean Ryback. I can, like, why is Ryback in the championship match? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so he fights Henry, Mark Henry at WrestleMania. He loses, and then instantly he gets pushed to the uh, to the main event. The only thing I can think of is is they were they were planning on Rock maybe going to the main event but then he got hurt and you know he's not coming back till next year probably so then they just pushed Henry there but he just lost the fucking Ryback just lost to Henry I mean why didn't they put Mark Henry in that role or I mean anybody anybody but I mean Ryback's okay he just it just uh, feels weird he shouldn't be in the title picture and he's not gonna win everybody knows he's not gonna win freaking I have a bad feeling that this John Cena title run is going to last a long ass time like till re next Wrestlemania that is of course unless CM Punk comes back and says I want the freaking title back bitches because I know Punk's very unhappy I guess the rumor is that he was supposed to beat The Undertaker if he lets if he jobbed to The Rock two times and then Cena and I'm sure he's cool with that. And then they're there at the last second, like the day before WrestleMania, and said, oh, by the way, you're losing to The Undertaker. And he flipped out, and that's why he pretty much left. Because I don't blame him. They just ruined that 434-day title run. I mean, 434 days. Like, when he loses, it was going to be a big freaking deal. I mean, he could have got somebody over big time. But, no, they had to let The Rock win. I mean, it was so ridiculous. And then the main event match WrestleMania wasn't very good at all. 
Uh, but the ratings are tanking now. They're, they just went below a 3.0 share. So hopefully, because of that, they will strip that belt from Cena. Of course, they probably won't blame it on him because, you know, Cena blows Vince in the background, probably. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, we got the rain. We need to turn the wipers on. Ah! Shit, what button's wipers? I forget. W. Button is wipers. There it is. P. <laughs> Thought it was P. Yeah, that is pretty cool about this game, how it starts raining, you gotta turn your wipers on, and when it gets dark out, you gotta have your lights on, or you get a ticket. It's pretty cool, I like that. Do I have my brights on, or is it just my imagination? I don't know. It's got the, looks like it has the bright symbol on, oh well. Let's see if I get a ticket. <laughs> Hopefully I don't. Graphics are actually pretty damn good in this game, especially for what it is. Look at the rain's falling. My only issue with the graphics is sometimes it hitches every now and then. Like you see it in the video, I don't know why. I mean, I have as good as of a gaming PC as you absolutely possibly can get. I have an Alienware spent a lot of money on, 16 gigs of RAM. I have dual 7970s in it. Processor is a K. I think it's like a 3990K, something like that. Some expensive processor. You do have to be careful. I found out one time in the rain, because your truck will slide all over the damn place. Two hours six minutes, guys. We are way more than halfway there. This was like a 340 mile or 340 kilometer trip. I would switch it to miles, what I'm used to, but the speed limit signs don't change, so it'll be like 90 kilometers an hour, but my mileage will be in, in miles per hour. I don't know what the conversion rate is on that, so I just leave it. At, I just leave the um, metric system on. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, just roll in, roll in. View. Cinematic view. Trade ox. Trade oxy. Get the sugar home. Get paid my money. Hopefully I'll level up. Because the way I play the game is, is I'm going to level up my driving distance first, so... I could do longer and longer routes and I get bonuses. I did have a route that was long enough to give me my bonus this time, but the only one was to London, and I just drove to London. I was doing the exact same trip as I did in uh, the last video, and I didn't really want to do that. Alright, what's the speed limit here? I'm going 80, 90. Okay, I'm good still. Looks like they have wicked speed radar cameras. I know this is a sim and everything, but if I had the option, I wish they gave us the option to turn speeding tickets off because it's so annoying. So many times I'm like, I'm like getting ready to turn into my final destination area, and I get a freaking speeding ticket or something stupid, I run a stop sign accidentally. But hey, it's, I guess it's a simulator, so what am I bitching about, right? inside the cab. Man, I'm driving like I'm drunk and I haven't even drank anything yet. Oh, we gotta get off on an exit coming up here soon, it looks like. Da -da 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 -da. Should just have Kenny Rogers playing the entire time. Playing this. 
start slowing down a bit here. I'm going to switch to the outside view to take this ramp so I can see a little bit better. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm playing a sim and I'm using the outside view. Excuse me. 40 miles an hour. I have wiped out on some off ramps in the rain before, so I'm usually very careful on the off ramps. It's so easy just to screw up, especially when you're doing like a super long trip and then you just mess up right at the end. Oh man, it sucks. So I'm within less than an hour, 57 kilometers away, I'm just going to be there in a few real minutes. There we go successfully engineered the off-ramp. I can't wait to get my own truck, get the souped up one. It doesn't take forever to accelerate, which I'm hoping. I mean, it still might. Because I'm on the road again. What's that green thing over there? On the road again. <sighs> okay, 47 kilometers. And another thing that pisses me off on the WWE is them having like all their champions lose like crazy. Like the US champ will lose every time, the Intercontinental Champion will lose. I mean, why even have them as champions? Like if Sheamus can just beat the Intercontinental Champion without even trying, give him the Intercontinental title. Build that title up. I mean, that's what they used to do back in the day, but that was back when wrestling was cool. <sighs> like, the champion should never, ever, ever lose on TV, in my opinion. Pay-per-view only. Unless it's, you know, to build up some big angle, you know, like the one 2 3 kid coming in and beating somebody. That's the only time I'm down with it, but... Hey, you know, I'm not running the company, who cares? 25 kilometers. Yeah, and I also, I just picked up um, Agriculture Simulator 2013, Gamer's Gate for $5. Man, I heard it was buggy and not very good, but it took me forever to just to download the updates. I actually couldn't get the launcher to download the update because it was trying to update the very newest patch, and it comes to find out that you have to have the original patches before that patch will take. So I had to actually, like, search around the internet and actually torrent the freaking patch so I could download the official patch. I haven't really got to the game, but I'm going to try to get to it. I'm hoping it's at least pretty good, so I just didn't waste five dollars. Why are you stopping, car? What the hell? I'm clear over here. Crap. Though when I do own my own truck, I'm not looking forward to having to pay all the tolls and buy all my gas. It is kind of handy when you're driving for somebody that they have to do all that. All right, we're at the home stretch. 17 kilometers. 16 kilometers. 15, 15 kilometers now. The speed limit's probably going to start. I think I got to turn left here. Another tip I found out about this game, you don't really have to stop and wait for traffic. Because if you just go, the traffic pretty much will stop. Like, look at this douche here. Just get in front of them, they're not going to hit you. They'll just stop, see? I, I don't think I, I didn't take that sign out. I usually take those road signs out. <laughs> My wipers are still on. On the road again. It's 23 Celsius. I have no clue how hot that is at all. Zero. I know zero Celsius is freezing. That's about it. <laughs> oh, Dijon discovered. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. Alright, two kilometers. We should be approaching our final destination. We've got to slow down. It's 50 miles an hour. I want a ticket. 
you'll get a damn ticket for going one mile an hour over. Let's see. I may try to back the trailer. I bet the pin. Sometimes I'll back the trailer up and sometimes I won't. It just depends on like how much room I have and where you have to come in at and stuff like that. Can I turn right on red? Nope. <laughs> That's a no. I guess it was a little higher up, wasn't it? Alright. It's only, it wasn't that much of a fine, 300 bucks, so well. Alright, one mile. Oh, right up here on the left, I see it. the sugar to its home. Euro Goodies? That's the name of the place? Interesting. No, I'm not... There's no way I'm going to park this in that spot. There's just no freaking way I'd be able to do that. Look at that. There's no room. Alright. Excellent, baby! 173 liters of fuel. Yeah, I leveled up too. How much did I make? 204. Nice reward. Go driving. We are going to long distance. We're going to go to rank three. Now we can do extremely long, strong, extremely long journeys. Job market. Let's see here. Well, let's go back. Let's see my skills. To get my max bonus, I need something higher than 550, 550 kilometers. So let's see if we can find one farther than 550. 547, 534, 545. 592. So we're going to be going to Cambridge from Liege to Cambridge here. Take the job. Alright. So we are going from Liege to Cambridge. I got a new email. It's probably telling me I got We can help you grow. Bank. No. I'm not taking out any loans right now. Okay, so right now I have $20,000 saved up. And on the next video, we'll be going to Liege, Cambridge. For $8,000, my biggest payoff so far. So uh, until next time, guys, the, uh, the Game Nerd guy is powering off.